you guys welcome back for another video today I'm going to be sharing with you my goals for 2019 I do not call them New Year's resolutions and I think this is the third year that I have done my New Year's resolution slash goals although I much prefer goals and goal setting um, on my channel and I always go back and watch my old video to be able to give you guys a recap on the previous year. So that is what this video is going to be. I'm going to share with you how I did on completing my goals for 2018 and then give you my new goals for 2019. I would love to hear from you guys though. Let me know down below what your goals are if you have any of the same goals that I do. Uh, let me know down below. I love to hear and get inspired from you guys too. So I have my little notepad down here so that I could go through and tell you guys exactly how well I did. So in 2018, my personal, well, my personal goal category was the longest. So I'm going to start with something shorter. Um, my word for 2018 was peace. Um, I don't know how, how accurate that word was for me. Definitely in certain areas, um, I felt more peaceful, but maybe not in all of them. So there's that. Um, my fitness goals were to finish my half marathon in under two hours and drink water before coffee. I rocked the half marathon goal. I ran that half marathon, um, in an hour and 54 minutes. So if you're in the running world, you know that those six minutes are like a huge accomplishment in, in running. Um, so I killed that goal. Also what led me to my knee injury though. And I, the water before coffee, not so successful on that. My relational goal for 2018, um, for me, relational means not marriage and not kids like other people, um, was deepening my existing friendships. Um, I would say yes, that, that I was successful in that goal. Um, but I also remember filming last year with certain people in mind when I was making that video. And this year, those people are not in my life anymore. So, um, that's kind of interesting. Um, homeschool goals for 2018 were to craft more with my kids and, um, and do some kind of music lessons. I think I did pretty well on this goal. We definitely are crafting more and doing more art projects and, and messy type things. Um, the music thing, I mentioned doing music lessons. We are just too busy with sports to do music lessons. Uh, but I have incorporated more music than we had been previously doing. Um, so I feel like I was pretty successful in that goal. Our financial goal was reducing spending um, to funnel a large family vacation every year and um, going somewhere new with our kids. So we were successful in that goal. We traveled quite a bit. Uh, we actually went on maybe about like eight to 10 different um, trips, not a, not all of them being super duper long, but we were, you know, a weekend away here or there. Uh, so I feel like that was really successful and we loved it and we hope to do it again this year. Um, my marital goal was to continue with one monthly date night, keeping time together a priority. We were successful on that goal. And then my personal goals for 2018, when I re-listened to them, I was like, geez, Ashley, you gave yourself like six personal goals. Um, so we're going to run down these. Um, more prayer uh, daily. Yes, I feel like I was successful in that. Reading six books. No, I was not successful. Um, and a healthy work, home, mom life balance. Uh, I don't I don't think that I chose to have that balance. I think I was forced into it with my injury um, because I'm so stubborn and I wouldn't listen and see the warning signs that God just like was able to use that. And so I do have a healthier work life, mom, homeschooling balance now, but I can't take credit for that. <laughs> so I don't know if it was 
good goal setting. It really wasn't. It was totally the Lord forcing my hand because I am stubborn. Um, so that's my update on 2018. So I would say I did about 80, 85% well um, on my goals. This year for 2019, I'm using the same format, financial, marital, homeschool, fitness, relational, personal, and a word. Um, I just like that that breaks it down, and they're very simple this year. I don't know if it's the current, sorry, a really weird bird just flew by out my window. Uh, I don't know if it's just the current month that I'm in or, uh, or what, but I just feel like simple is going to be good this year. So our financial goal for 2019 is to buy another house. That's a big goal. Uh, you guys know house buying, if you've ever purchased a home, is no small task. Um, so yeah, buy a house is our financial, our, our number one financial goal for 2019. Um, marital goal is to continue with our monthly date nights. I feel like I always need to keep that a goal, otherwise it will just slip off my radar. And uh, the second part to my marital goals for 2019 is to just, show and tell my husband more that I appreciate him. Um, in May, we will have been together for 15 years, and that is a really long time, um, and I feel like you just kind of expect each other to know these things, so I just want to be more intentional about telling him um, how much I appreciate him and all that he does for our family. Um, for homeschool, my goal for 2019 is to start researching high school options for my daughter. I know you're probably thinking you're nuts. That's just the way I am. I want to research things. She'll be in seventh grade next year. So I really only have like one more year before, um, before you know, record keeping and all those things needs to become more important. Uh, the state that I live in has no homeschool regulation at all, and that is a double-edged sword. If you guys want to hear a video on why that's not really a good thing, um, let me know and I'll make it because every state has different laws, so I'm not going to really get into that. But for high school, I need to figure out what is going to be the best pathway for her, and I feel like I need time to really look into all my options and so I just want to start researching and really start praying over those things uh, because with her soccer career, um, a college scholarship probably isn't too far off and it's not as simple in our state to just play for your zoned high school. Uh, so anyways, that's one of my goals for 2019. Um, and then the second part of my goals for 2019 for my homeschool is to enjoy homeschooling just us. Um, if you watch my current video you or my recent video, you know why I'm saying that, but really I think it's gonna be a good thing. Um, we have always been a part of a group since I started homeschooling. We have never just had all of our time in a week all to ourselves. What what do we want to do? What works well with our schedule? Where do we want to go? We were always factoring in other group commitments and so I felt like that limited how much free time I had within my homeschooling to do things. So I want to just enjoy 2019 mostly just our family and just enjoy the freedom that comes with homeschooling. Um, my fitness goal for 2019 might be funny to some of you guys, um, but pretty much since I had my daughter, my youngest, who is now seven, since I had her, um, I, after she was born, I started on a fitness journey and I've never stopped. And through that, fitness ended up becoming my career for quite a few years. Um, and then that was all changed this year. And uh, so now that I only teach one time a week and I train a few online clients here and there, but I am no longer training people like every day and teaching multiple classes, um, my fitness career has really changed and that has affected my personal fitness life as well, good and bad. Uh, so this year for 2019, 
I do not have any huge goals. Um, in the past, I've run half marathons. I've had weight loss goals in the beginning. I've had um, like get more certifications as an instructor type fitness goals. This year, I want to just enjoy working out as a person again, which I know sounds so weird to some of you. Some of you might not even understand what I'm saying, but my fitness journey was always motivated by these big goals that I had or by leading by example or, or other things. And that was all great and it had a time and a place. But now I just wanna see what one year looks like for me just working out in the way that I like to work out, doing the things that I like to do, not having a training for something or doing something for something else, just because I love to work out, I love to exercise, it makes me feel my best self, and I just wanna take a year to just enjoy doing what I like doing, which is primarily lifting weights. Um, so there's that. Um, my personal goal for this year, this was the one that last year I had like six goals. This year, guys, I've got one goal. <laughs> my personal goal is to add nothing new to my plate. I want to make my YouTube channel even better. I want to continue teaching my cycle class one time a week. I want to continue serving in the capacity I'm serving at my church. I don't want to take on anything new, if that makes sense. I don't wanna add another role to my plate. I don't wanna start a homeschooling group. I don't wanna lead this thing. I just want to continue doing what I'm doing right now. I feel like I've got a good balance going on. I'm not super duper overwhelmed, which is great. And um, I just don't wanna add anything new to my plate. So that, you might laugh, but if you have a personality like me, you know that that is a very hard. When opportunity knocks, I wanna take it. And this year, I'm gonna be very mindful about not doing that. Um, because that leads me into my word of the year for 2019 is rest. I just feel like my personality is the exact opposite of rest and I know that I need to rest more. And my rest is gonna look different than a lot of other people's rest because of that. But like I shared, I just, I just wanna rest. I wanna rest in my friendships that I've got right now. I don't really want to be focused on trying to make new ones or connections or networking. Like I just wanna rest. I wanna rest in my fitness life and just enjoy my workouts for the sake of enjoyment. I wanna rest in my homeschool and just enjoy slow homeschool days with nowhere to be. I wanna rest in my life. And I feel like being lazy and complacent is very, very different than rest, so don't get me wrong, but I feel like that is where I'm at this year. Um, my word is rest. So next year in 2020, you'll you'll hear me come back and let you guys know how I did. Uh, but those are my goals for 2019. Let me know if you guys like this by giving it a big thumbs up and let me know down below what your goals are for 2019 because I love hearing goals. It totally gets me fired up. And I will see you guys in my next video really, really soon. Bye guys. Try to find our ways in life to give our hearts a solar peace all.